again not fished here for a while so and they've definitely not fished it at this time of year I mean, some fish are still here but I don't really know one of these little cranks, little jerk bait type cranks that you get with a sort of annoying stuff when you buy a pack so on the theory that I'll cover a bit more water with it, a bit more visible it a bit better as well. Ah, oh, bottom I think. Because it's a little bit heavier, uh, lower jerk bait, you can just do a bit of more of a normal cast and kind of bring it back, load your rod up and then whip it out so I feel more comfortable with that casting, kind of putting it where I want it to go a little bit more, so I'll stick with that while I'm on this open water. Right, I'll just put it down these edges and stuff before I walk. like I'm covering water better. Snag. Right. So I've just made a change. Had a little nag in it back of my head. So I've got six pound braid and the original and then the original fluorocarbon that I, I was sent which was on the reel to start with. I had that as my leader. But I've put a crank on and trout are a bit mental. They tend to roll in your, on your lows and things like that. Well, four pound when a, a fish is twisting and writhing. is not really strong, so basically I've now got a 10 pound floater one, which is a little bit more protection. It just helped me and saved me hopefully snapping off on a fish and leaving hooks in it and all that kind of stuff. So. Helps it'll help me if I hit a snag as well. Like that. I'm not going to snap off on four pound. And the other thing, I've got a tendency to put my thumb on the spool because I've been used to piking all my years. And what you really need to do when you're fishing light is put your thumb behind the reel when, you've, when you're winding in and then basically when you get a, a bite you, you just drag is what, is what does the trick but I'm putting my thumb on it and then you've only got four pound at the, at the end and you're putting your thumb on there and basically the, the yank of the fish is going to snap off so this should help me I'm trying to teach myself not to keep putting my thumb on the spool like that and to tuck it in behind thumb on your spool when you're casting, fair do's but took it in behind afterwards. So like that, so behind it like that. And then it's your reel that does the job. Your drag set, you're not going to snap off. Yeah, fish, oh no. I don't know if that was a fish or not. I don't know. like this when you're working up river, fish in front of you, fish along the margins because trout sometimes just tuck right in the margins. So fish that water first and then walk up. Ah, oh, that was a fish. Damn. Just a fish. Just hit it on the pause. 
Never saw the fish, I don't know how big it was. Yeah, oh, again. Oh, come on, Paul, that's two. Yep, that's better. I need net for this one, Paul. I need net for this one, Paul. Oh. why I want to put a fluorocarbon, a heavier fluorocarbon on, because when something like that takes, <laughs> and you see how it's rolled in the net like that, it's another way when it twists off and then your fish rolls in the net and then you end up losing your fish as well, so I'll just try and find the hooks on this. Absolute beast, biggest fish on me, on my new rod. Absolute stunner, two pound, two and a half pound something. Absolute belter on the BFS. <laughs> right, we're back at it again. A little bit of commotion with the fish. Well, in that fishing net, there were another big splash up here somewhere, so I had a couple of hits and then I caught that fish, and then there's another one splashed higher up, so some fish here. Can hit him. Yep, fish. <laughs> My God. Another nice fish. Not a monster, but look how Rob bends. Really absorbs the fight of the fish. Oh, it's don't go with my legs. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, don't, don't. I've already had some commotion with hooks and stuff. Pretty fish. Can't kid that way. Yep, this guy. Boom. <laughs> Fella. Spotty. Hopefully another fish to come. Yeah. Oh, that's a better fish. It's another good fish. It's another good fish. That's another decent fish, is that? Being low though. Could tell when that took it with a better fish. I'll take him line. Obviously the gag set okay. Come on fish. See how big you are. That's being low. Real solid fish. Good. 
website. Getting close to an hour. Come on, fish. Rub the burnt tumble. Come on, fish. Don't want to force it too much so that lure comes out of its mouth and all that kind of stuff. Put too much pressure on fish sometimes. I was under that grayling this morning. Proper fish. Proper fish. Similar to the last one, but I'd say this was a bit chunkier, a bit stockier. in water. No, they're like real lass. <laughs> Let's have a look at this fish. Wow. Wow, this fish is wide. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Absolute beautiful fish. It's really wide. I don't know if that camera picks it up, but it's really wide. Must be a good two and a half, pushing three pound that, two and a half easy. Just a minute kid. Just so you can see it colours because I don't think that light helped me but look at that. <laughs> wow. It's an old gorgeous fish. Come on kid. Cheers mate, that's good fun. Oh! <laughs> Pull up the right in. And like I said, that one right in edge. Real squeaking, spin it water, spin it mud. Had something wedged in it. That's how it goes. Testing a skill. <laughs> I'm casting. Because if there's another monster left, it lurks under that tree. And I know it does. Another nice fish. Another nice fish.
as big as the last one, mate. A nice fish. I'm happy with that. Still got fighting in. Another lump. <laughs> Amazing fishing. Amazing fishing. I can I spot some of my really pretty fish? Wonderful fishing. Kind of mastering that BFS now. Obviously, I really like lures. Difficult to cast, but a little crank. I'm, I'm enjoying my fishing, and that's what it's about. And catching fish like that. Brilliant. Right, let's try and let a, a little review of BFS now. I'm catching fish. So, if you're not skilled, if you're not the best of fishermen on on bait casters then they're not they're not super easy to, to use take a little bit of getting used to if you're fishing two and three gram it's difficult to cast and difficult to cast with accuracy and distance but i am getting better so i have every reason to think that i will bit of cast further and you start you have to cast with these little flicks and the underarm one so I'll just show you the underarm one is the easiest one to, to cast on, on lighter um, lighter lures but now I've put this crank on that's made that tree I can now cast a lot better I can you kind of whip the lure back and then whoosh, so you whip it back and then that's kind of how you do it. You still use your reel to, you know, make sure you don't get an overrun and stuff. So you need to set it up. Don't be in a rush to catch fish your first time out. It's more about setting it up. But, as you've seen, once you are setting up and you are on some fish, <laughs> it's good fun. And I've fished this spot with I fixed spool before I caught fish, similar to those. Enjoyed it. But I must say, I do love fishing with a little bait caster. More than a fixed spool. So if I'm doing this, I think I'll always just use the BFS. Ah, oh, fish. <laughs> Again, down edge. It's only a baby, but I've seen big fish hiding down edge before, so trying not to walk into it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, baby. But yeah, so if you're wanting a, a nice fun setup, get in touch with you. Jamie at Needham Specialist Tackle. Like I say, this is not a this is not an advert for them. I've got nothing for them. It, apart from he just sorted me out a nice set, set up. Paid for it with my own money. So this is an honest review. Ah, oh, I missed one. This is an honest review of BFS. Modern day BFS. You know, and can you actually, can a Neanderthal like me actually use it 
and catch fish. I, you know, you watch these American kids, Japanese kids <laughs> on YouTube and stuff, and they're absolutely wonder kids. But a bit of practice and a bit of perseverance. Even old farts like me can do it, so. Oh, I'm just getting into that little hole down there, look. Which I didn't think I'd be able to do with a with a BFS. There you go, BFS. Sorry no your ear left trout rod. The DF fifty L reel. Need them specialist tackle. Got some six pound. It's actually power pro braid. Quite a small diameter. Yeah, six pound braid, ten pound fluorocarbon. A little sore annoy crank. And loads of loads of fun. So if you enjoyed this, if you enjoy this type of fishing, a few tips, a few fish, make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment below and uh, cheers for watching.